Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome back to another video. So today, you guys, I'm going to be talking about the Battle Pass. Now, the Battle Pass is usually bought by, you know, usually everybody who, you know, cares about the game and likes the game and all that. So, you know, this is an amazing deal. I mean, you get seven skins, a bunch of pickaxes, a bunch of glinders, a bunch of emotes, a bunch of basically everything in the game, all for a thousand V-Bucks if you're, you know, willing to put in the time to complete it. So... Is this worth buying up to tier 100? Is it worth it? Now, let's take a look here. So, it would take about, I think it's more, a little bit more than, it's a little bit over $100 to actually, you know, purchase everything. And you get the free version with it if you do purchase, you know, everything. Um, so, if you buy up to tier 100, 100 and get Omega right away, is it worth it? And especially right now, is it, is it, is it still worth it to buy this and, you know, You'll be happy with it. So, let's take a look here. So, by the end of the season, basically everybody's going to have this. So, right now, if you were to buy this, and probably in, you'd have this, and you'd probably be like, oh my god, he's an Omega, you know, for about 30 days. And then usually everybody starts, you know, to get up to them high tiers, and some people even just finish it by just buying it off, and... Usually everybody gets this, and maybe it comes, you know, less rare to see because everybody, you know, has it. It kind of came with, it was kind of like John Wick, you know what I mean? You know, people at the, f like, who bought it right away, they're like, they're dope, you know what I mean? But then you get people who start getting it, and then this skin kind of comes down to a little bit, you know, lower level, a little rarity, if you know what I mean. So, I, I don't know really I'm not going to buy it, personally, but if you're willing to, if you want to have all these skins, you know, early, and be all cool and stuff, um, if you want to, you know, stand out, like, oh, he's an Omega, you know, you can level it up all the way and just be dope and stuff like that, you can do that, but I just feel like, say you were to spend that $100 on this, I feel like you could get, you know, a lot of more skins, I mean, usually... Every two days to a day, you know, we have new legendary skins, new skins in general just coming out. And there's a lot that you can buy that usually people won't wear. I mean, obviously, this is not a good example. But, like, say this guy, or say you just had any legendary skin in the in the thing. You would be kind of more of, like, a, like a rarer skin. It would be more unique to have that type of skin, you know what I mean, in the, in the shop. Like, for example, my guys, um... I wish I bought the Red Knight. I bought this guy instead. Um, the Raven. He's only been out twice. Applin Ace barely ever out. Came out around winter. Uh, this guy. Uh, what, what's her? Her. Her. There we go. We got this. Her who comes with this awesome back bling that goes on so much. You know, you rarely ever see this. And it's such a cool skin. Especially the back bling. Best part. But this is more rare than, you know, eventually with the Omega, the Valor, and all these guys are going to be, if you know what I mean, so, if you're willing to, if you, if you adore these skins, you know, if you love these skins, yeah, go ahead, go do it, get it early, but I just feel like, what, like, in season two, it was a lot harder to get, to get, uh, the, the, all the way up to tier 100, because, or actually tier 70, it was, because you didn't have these weekly challenges, or these, or as many daily challenges, you know what I mean, so, it was a lot harder and now, especially you can get this in 10 weeks. Some people even get it in 8 or 9, you know what I mean? So, it, it it's really kind of all up to you, all up to your decision. Um, in my opinion, I feel like it's kind of a waste of money, you know. Like, I'm, I'm probably going to rock this guy, you know, once I get him. But it's not for long, you know what I mean? Because everybody's going to start wearing him. It's not going to be as unique and as fun to wear because you're going to see so many, you know. Who wants to see, you know, like, oh, I got this skin, and then just literally everybody has it, you know what I mean? So, it's really, at the end of the day, all up to you. So, if you want to buy up the tier 100 or just buy any tiers in general, it's all up to you. You can do whatever you want. Um, I'm just kind of here, you know, telling you that people are eventually going to have it, um, and it's not going to be as unique anymore. But there's definitely some, some cool skins in here, and I definitely think that you could, you know, purchase this and have fun with it for the amount of time and obviously it's not just i'm not saying that like hey once everybody gets it you can't wear it i'm saying that like 
it, they're unique. Like whoever wears a Valor now is very unique. But eventually, it's gonna kind of drop down its uniqueness. It's gonna be like more of a. It's gonna be like more of the special or elite agent. You know what I mean? It's cool. Like, oh, he's an elite agent. He must be good. And then usually, as time goes on, kind of you know, it's like, oh, he's an elite agent. You know what I mean? It's like. Ugh. If you, if you love the skins, wear them all the time, you know what I mean? I'm just saying, like, if you're one of those purple people who like, you know, uniqueness and rarities. So, anyways, guys, if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe. And, yeah, I'll see you guys.